Hi everyone, Mitchell Simmer here. So, welcome to this series. I'm playing through the PGA Tour. First round, I like to give people a little bit of an update because it's the most likely place for new viewers to be joining. But what I'm doing here in this series is simply trying to work my way up to Master Difficulty to ultimately play in TGC Tours, which is an online competition that uses PGA Tour 2K23. Another thing that I'm working at that is going to help make that easier, according to some research I've done, is basically get legendary fittings across all my clubs. To do that, I need to earn enough fittings or enough type of fittings that I can exchange up and do that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm playing full rounds through the PGA Tour. As you can see from the thumbnail here, this is still Season 1, although we are getting close to the end. I believe this is about Week 24. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm assuming we're going to have Xander Shoffley as our rival. But we're going to go ahead and get going here in the first round of the John Deere Classic. 2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the John Deere Classic. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Yeah, a tricky matchup in your opinion, Rich, against Xander Shoffley. I'm having a hard time seeing past Xander in this match, as the gold coming from around his neck is blinding me. Well, the only thing that really goes against Xander Shoffley is he doesn't win as often as he should. But every attribute in his game is just exceptional. You're talking about one of the best players out on tour. All right, so we're going to get going here. One thing I didn't mention is first time through, I usually let the announcers talk. This is like the perfect tournament for me I've just realized I mean I've got these little tractors as my T markers one of the most prolific sims I have on my channel is farming simulator I absolutely love it so it's like a combination between PGA Tour 2k23 and uh, farming simulator what could be better let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today well, not a good tone that's for sure so oh my swing Can timing is here? struggling like already. Here in the sand. All right. So I'm playing at Pro-Am difficulty at this point. Uh, this is, I think, going to be the fourth event I'm trying. I did really well in the first one, made the cut, and continued. So really well is relative in that I, I played through, but then I missed the cut in the last few. And certainly not starting out well here, but there's a lot of calculations I kind of need to do that were done before easier and that some of that is distance so we're gonna lose basically 20 percent so I'm gonna fall back 24 that's not far enough all right so hold on I think I left like a chip or something so yeah this is gonna go back 30 it's gonna be 120 all right this will be 26 so that would be 102 it's almost not enough but all right let's try this though i think it'll get me close enough all right a little better on the timing Ooh, pop over all right cool that worked really well especially when it's for birdie now, I know nothing about the greens on this course. I've not played it before. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. I mean, it does look like it's going to move. It's just, is it going to move more than I think? I'm going to, I'm going to take the chance because I'm usually very conservative in the beginning, and then I always keep missing. So to try to do something different, this I'll do that, and that worked. Nice comeback. So, that shows a lot of character. all I'm right. Absolutely. In the bunker, off the tee, getting that one. That is a Brucey bonus. Now with the honor on a par five. You want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five. Should you do that, a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long. 
find the treble off the tee and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole don't fool yourself all right yeah so the other rounds uh, will go quicker usually but i have found uh, now on the pro-am having to do the calculations at times it still takes a little while to get through a round but hopefully you'll enjoy it Speaking of, if you enjoy it, if you do, please drop a like. That helps with the algorithm and gets it out more in YouTube and helps grow the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Lovely, lovely. All right, nice. That turned out well. Rich, I know I've got more of a southern accent, but I certainly love being here in the Midwest, and, and we know the people of the Midwest. This man is English funny. Color. It's a bit like their fifth major, isn't it? Exactly, Luke. Coming here to TBC Deer Run each and every year, you know, it, it's such a, a great event to introduce the world to a new golfer that is trying to dig his way into the game and, and kind of make inroads on the PGA Tour. But yet what we find is that a lot of veterans end up winning this tournament. Uh, Steve Stricker comes to mind. Uh, Zach Johnson comes to mind. Uh, Jordan Spieth, though, got his first victory here. It's, it's exciting because it really doesn't favor one player over another. It's just you got to have a solid game over four days on a golf course that usually yields a lot of birdies. But you have to take advantage of that and that's not always easy to do because this golf course is no pushover but it's always in perfect shape especially on the greens so you really have to take all uh, so you really have to take advantage of all the opportunities you have on these greens if you're going to post a low score and win so that's interesting they left like a mistake in there which normally they don't do it but it makes it seem a little more real like it's a little more of a commentary um I know nothing about the PGA Tour. I don't watch it. Um, I don't play golf in real life. Uh, yeah, I've done it a little bit, but I stink at it just because I frankly don't spend enough time. But I love The Sims. Um, so, courses in the Midwest, I guess, but I have no idea where. Looked like that was oh, a boy. A oh, boy. That's going to fall in the water, sadly. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to drop it there. What's he facing with this one? Oh, the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. All right, that was better. Oh, I That's just the died. Oh, yeah, this will... This it's for par. I have not hit a water shot in a while, so that was not pleasant, I'll tell you that. Ooh, that rolled uh, further than I would have one. liked. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one, guys, he's got a oh, Try and keep so that close. Card a little less dirty. Hmm. This is for bogey. Double bogey's not gonna help me. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry. All right, well, he makes way. that. We'll see. Last time I played him, he wasn't too crazy good. So my hope is, you know, hit, hitting it once in a while. They are pros. So. yards up the hill, blind tee shot. The big miss here is short right in that deep bunker. Should you find that bunker, you're also going to find yourself making bogey or worse. Anywhere on the green is a good shot. All right, so 37 feet up is going to basically be 12 yards back, so it's going to land about 180, plus the wind is blowing. So this might not get as close as I'd like, assuming, again, I can get a good shot. I'm still obviously struggling to get really comfortable at this difficulty. With the right. here. Not a bad one. This one needs to kick left. All right. Yep, I'll that take that. On the green. That is safely on the green. Oh, not not a straight stroke. Oh, gee, that line was looking good. That was it? really close. We'll now move over mm -hmm. to Xander Shoffley. He's currently one stroke better than his rival and playing partner today. Ooh. So yeah, maybe realistic. So he ends up with a bogey on that. All right. So we're even. Par four, 448 yards, 
sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that, and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Uh, a little bit too far over, but hopefully it'll kick. There we go. Penny, what's the player facing here? Not exactly the way I'd like it, but not bad. Forty-five yards. All right, so I need to pull back for sure, because four feet's going to pull me back a yard. So it's going to put me at 137, but we've got this moving over. All right, I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Not much. But the nine should move over quite a bit. The crosswinds are crazy, especially when they start getting up near the double digits. Oh boy, that's slow. Is totally counteracted everything. Right. So eight feet. I'm gonna need to hit a little bit higher up here. Got a perfect, but, well, at least it'll stay up there, I think. Hmm. These are a bit tough, I'll tell you that. The hole is challenging. We've got things running off. All right. I mean, it's a good shot, but it's still a bogey. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back par four this fairway chases away from the players down the hill so tee shots will run forever setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward all right pretty straight almost to the in the white on the timing that's absolutely flushed. that i would consider a really See, good shot run, Rich, so. full of forced carries and the fifth is no different I love the second shot. Should you find the fairway, you have a very simple shot down the hill where you can see the entirety of the green. You will go flag hunting with your second at the fifth. All right, so I'm going to actually pull back a bit because we're going to gain about three yards here. So I think that should work. All right, I'm hoping I might have figured out a bit of my problem. I, if I look at my position on the controller, I seem to have been holding my fingers not quite straight on the stick. So that might have been my problem. We'll see if that gets better. But the lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. All right, let's see. Nice out the rough. Whoa. Now, that I don't need. Wow. I'm surprised, but I'm not. This is just what they do. So, he's up ahead of me now. Let's see what happens here on the 6th. Par 4 measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, make your birdie. Maybe I have played this. This hole looks familiar, but suppose there could be things on other courses that do the same thing. Oh no. Oh. Penny, I'm sure you've got a I was not, I had a little bit of a problem with my swing. I felt like it fairway. as I went no and... Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's, well, that's a 94%, so it's actually still going to go. All right. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Did I hit a tree or something? I don't understand what alters the line of the shot. Five shots off the lead. All right. So I'm gonna lose about two yards. The wind's gonna pull me back, but hopefully this will work. Going with the pitching wedge here. I need to figure out where I'm gonna position things. All right, we're going to putt Time from there. The shot. Five strokes behind our leader. But this is this is not going well for me, I'll tell you that. Good straight stroke, not going to move enough. Darn it. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. It did, so but a couple over for hmm. the day. Let's I mean, it's an okay here. round. I'm only plus Part 2. It's not like hill. I'm doing it's terribly short, but I can promise you it doesn't all right so I'm gonna go 
four yards. I think I'm just going to go with that and hope for the best. It might be too long. Going with the five wood. All right. Oh, yeah, that's way that too to long. To Goodness. Level. Way to too right long. All right, we're going way down the hill here. So I'll just have to be careful. Oh, that was a terrible swing. Slow down, please. Oh, so close. Ah, gosh. An opportunity to make a par here. This is going to be challenging. Nice straight stroke, but ah, moved a bit. It looked like it was relatively straight, but obviously not. You're making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Alright, well now Xander's He's doing what I in this feel is Let's a bit happens. unrealistic. Like, now, making Peter all those type of things lead. is hard to believe for anybody, lead. even a pro. Some Par four, every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. Alright, that's a good one. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. I'm just really focusing Second more on here. my Formula. swing, my timing, just trying to get better. So that's going to be down three yards. That's going to take me to 157. So I want to pull, let's see, what if I do that? That'll be 147. No, that doesn't seem like enough. So I think if I go like here... Maybe that'll work. Maybe that's still too far, but we'll find out. Ah, oh, the fast the is killing me here. And here we are with the third shot. All right, looks like a lot of movement that way. Nice straight stroke. Move over. Oh, so well, close. It would be nice to get the booty, but apart. Never hurts. So close. Sailing by seven after that hole. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Par four, 485 yards, the toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere on the green to give yourself the best chance of making more. All right, let's see what we can do here. worried I was going to hit a slow again. I kind of messed up, but it worked out. Oh, great shot. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. All right, I'm going to back this off. It looks like there's a bit of a ridge on the green. I don't, I don't honestly like what I'm seeing. But let's see what we get here. Looks to be going with the five. All right, a decent one. A oh, a little too far. It's gone down a club. No, I'm so not sure. It's in the light rough. This might not work for me. I'm gonna hit it a little harder. Oh, how did it move? Solid little par putt here. I'm getting that same thing where I'm just I'm le I'm giving away shots. Now if he makes this, yeah, see this is this is kind of that unrealistic thing to some degree. I think makes it so hard to beat. Taking off now on the tenth hole. Par five, 581 yards. Most players will be laying up for their second shots as a large pond on the right hand side of the green will collect your golf ball if you hit a wayward one going forward in two. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a chunky lie. That it's is a chunky lie. To get out of this one. Hmm. Well, I'll be laying up not because I want to, but because I hit a terrible first shot. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. It shouldn't have really done much. I don't know that it did. I mean, it was a bush. It's not like it was a tree. All right, so it's blowing me back six, seven yards. 
might actually be okay this way, so let's try it. Game of the right. seven. Should be decent. Rolled a little more, shot a little more to the right than I would have liked, but yeah, this this would be a miracle, I think. Especially that way, that's not going to be hard enough. That's disappointing. Up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. So maybe gave another one away. Now. Just being so Marfle conservative. Yard, tree line hole, difficult driving hole all the way around. Hmm. Should you find the fairway, the second shot on a little plateau. I don't know how far that's going to run. Very basic. I think I should be okay. I'm not like it's not like I'm a far driver. And if I keep doing that, it doesn't matter. Ah. <sighs> What are you seeing down How there? am I hitting He's fast got, off the tee you know, every time? Alright, well, I'm going to lose some distance because of the lie. The wind's going to gain me some. I'm just going to try to leave it the way it is. Because losing 5%, I'm going to lose like 7 yards or something. Choosing the nine iron here. All right, the slow's going to yeah, move me over, lovely. but... All right, that's now a good spot. Let's see what Xander does. Drop shot on that last I'm guessing. Hole. Now, see if he holds Time this out, you'll see what I mean. Ooh, that was really there. close, but I mean that's okay. But and he's down there. You got a read? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Oh come on oh, again! Again, I, I was off a little bit on the stroke, but goodness. This is what they have left for part. That was a top level approach, <sighs> but unfortunately they walk off the green with a par. And with that effort, I mean I'm staying kinda where I'm at, but the par three here. I love these holes. Par three plays two hundred and eight yards from the back. In saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. All right. Should be about right with the wind and the green being seven feet down. I'd be booking in for some lessons if I was swinging it like that. What is happening off the I tee? Say that wasn't their best shot. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. All right, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna lose twenty percent, which means that's gonna drop me back a couple yards. I think this will work. Ah. If it stops rolling, I have a shot. It's a long way. Alright, cool. That gets the job done. Saved it. Now seven shots behind after that. They say the thirteenth is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tea is yours. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers. Second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. All right. Not, a bad line, this Not one. the straightest path, but what are we looking at it here, worked. Henny? Setting up here from about. 145 yards. All right, with the five back, it'll put me at 145. It's going to be back one, so I'm going to pull this, like, to the pin, I think. All right, a little bit fast. Don't bounce in the bunker. Wild on approach there. <sighs> I cannot. These are hard. These are hard. Let's see what happens. Let's return to Don't think I'm going to be beating him this this uh, event. But let's see. All right, we're losing a good amount, so this might work. Uh, it was a perfect, but it just didn't. Uh, didn't have enough power. I think he likes it. This one to save par. 
Come on. I hit it straight. Three feet to go here to the hole. Just moves way more than I think it's, it's going line. to. And a little slide down the leaderboard. Yeah. Happening. Make sure you respond quickly. This is not Time helping me. Face a par four now. Par four, 357 yards. Almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl. Knock it on, and you could be rewarded with an eagle two. Okay. Now I get the slow. I just do not understand. Just kick to the complete other side. Unbelievable. Alright, let's see. So 45, it's going to go back 9. So that's going to be 36. And it's up 2 feet. Let's see, I can actually back off. So this will be 8 less, a little more, probably closer to 10. So 29, I don't want to roll off the side, so I'm going to go over this way. All right, that's as good as I can make that, I'll tell you. Oh, it's still going to roll off. Oh, thank goodness, now maybe it didn't. To Xander Shoffley. Birdied their last hole. Found the green side bunker. Looking for an up and down here. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. That guy is on fire today. That's all we can Bloody say. Putt here. Oh, boy. I mean, I'm not going downhill, but wow, that thing seems to be moving a lot. Maybe. This is a good chance. Mm -hmm. So close. A par putt on the table. That was just not to be made. I'm playing, playing my butt off. I'll tell you that. But opportunities and some low scoring to be had, Rich. This 14th hole is certainly part of that lineup. Par four, 456 in length from the back tee. Must find the fairway off the tee shot to have any hope of finding the green in two. Large trees line the right and left hand side of the fairway. All right, let's see what we can do. And I got the stupid fast again. It worked out with that little bulge, but playing this shot from about 170 yards out. All right, one yard down. So I need to pull this back. All right, that's too much, but we'll do that. Five yards. That should hopefully do it if I can get a good swing. Looks to have chosen a little bit away. fast. Oh, goodness. I don't know if they meant to do that. That went way more than I well, thought with that over. tiny Does bit off. I don't well, understand. In the front here in this rivalry. But can he stay that way? Oh, that one just missed the hole. Yeah, he can stay that way because I am not. Close, I am safe. not doing great things here. That's all I can say. I am not doing great things. So 40 is going to fall to 30. So 19 is going to go, or 20 is going to go to 15. So that's still going to be too far, but it's five feet up. Hmm. I'm going to try it. Let's see. That, that worked see out. Like the it's not bad, game. not bad. Let's see if we can do it. Looking it's a nice better. straight stroke. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. It nice is putt. so challenging to played. putt on Moving these greens. Now after that hole. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Par 3 only plays 153, but a tricky little green to say the least. Don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par 3. Yeah, this is going to kill me if I hit my normal fast again. Oh, <sighs> Deep breaths. Let's try to do the, get the timing down. Uh, now I go the opposite. This one needs to kick I cannot. This is oh my god. Long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one. Wow. Yeah, this is a long way. 
All right, not bad. That's close. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This for par. All right. Well done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Be nice if I could catch a cut a few off here. I'm just worried at 119 that I'm likely right at the cut line. Your second shot around this green must make birdie for the players in the field. All right, better. Again, not not great, but way better than being yeah, way play. fast. Well, after a successful drive at the 17th at TPC Deer Run, the players are faced with a question, Rich, lay up or go for it? Second shot straight back up the hill. Most players will bail just a little bit left as the green tends to run away quite a bit down the slope on the right-hand side. This is a great opportunity and possibly the final birdie opportunity. Oh, my goodness. I really and thought I had that. Shot. I hit it well. I just really thought that was going to end up better than it did. All right. Whoops. So if I flop, again, I'm getting 20% less. So that would be... So I probably want to hit, like, to the hole. Maybe there. And that should work. Yeah, it got close. And it's well played. Safely onto the putting surface. Gosh, come on. This will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. This would be great. Yep, tracking. Well. Come on. All right. Oh, that's a ripper. Currently All right. Well, that pulls three me to plus three. If I can get one more, run, I would consider it success. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par four, that tree looks yards. bad. Miss the fairway bunker down the right hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left hand side. All right, this is going to be tricky. I agree with him. This looks like a challenge. Oh, great swing there. All right, a little more fast than I'd like. Just don't roll too far. Second shot here on the All right, hole. gives me a clean shot here. Okay, it's level, it's blowing back. So I'm gonna pull this a bit. We'll see how close we can get it. Opting for the six iron. It should be pretty good. Right. No harm, no foul. Not there quite the shot. roll I had hoped for, see but make this big putt for birdie. not bad. That's a long way. Go over, go over. Ah. Oh. Oh. Again, plus three isn't terrible. It really was that one hole where I hit seven on the second. If I get rid of that, I'd be close to even. Plus one. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time. All right, let's see what the fitting looks like. Just a base one. Lots of trading up to move that to a legendary one. Again, I think I'm in the running. A little nervous because last event I had a good first round and then I just tanked it in on cut day. Um, there was one hole, though. It was just kind of like the hole of death that I had several back before. I didn't hit the stroke limit this time. I did actually get in there, but I think I shot a nine on it. So it was right there. I don't know there's any holes like that here, but again, I don't know where the pin placements are gonna be. So that's the hesitation I have is, you know, there's a little trepidation of am I, is history gonna repeat itself in a bad way? But hopefully I make a cut and then get myself to 50% on cut days with the Pro-Am difficulty level. So that's the goal I'm setting for myself next time. I'll see you then.